What's up guys? Nash here. Today we're going to talk about uh, two very important uh, nervous systems. Uh, but this is related to the question that I'm getting basically on a daily basis. People in the gyms are asking me, uh, Nash, what do you think? Should they eat just before workout? Because I've seen some guys, they, they have some chicken and rice just before they start training or says they have some sandwich or some Apparently, this is good for you because this is the energy that you're going to use during the session. Now, uh, the answer is no, you should not eat anything uh, before your training session. So your meal should be two and a half to three hours before your training session. Or even better, you should be training on your empty stomach, if you can. So that means first thing in the morning. But if you cannot, you should train two and a half to three hours after your last meal. Not, you should not eat before your workout. Remember that. Now I'm going to explain to you why is that, all right? Now, when it comes to the nervous system, there are basically two, uh, two main types of nervous system. One is called voluntary, and the other one is called autonomic. So that autonomic uh, nervous system is the one that we cannot control. So there are, there are things in our body that there are uh, regulated by, by this uh, autonomic, uh, non-voluntary, obviously, uh, nervous system. And we have nothing to do with that. It's just something that goes on, it's, it's, it's built up in our DNA, it, it's, it, it's created throughout our uh, 200,000 years of evolution of Homo sapiens, so we can't do much about it, right? But there are a few things that we know about it. So this autonomic uh, nervous system further splits into two two nervous systems. One is called sympathetic and the other one is called parasympathetic nervous system. Now these two nervous systems uh, have completely opposite action in the body. While sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the state that, that is known as fight or flight, uh, the other one which is parasympathetic is responsible for the state of rest and digestion. So those two uh, autonom uh, autonomic nervous systems, they, they are incompatible. They cannot function at the same time. So it's either one or another one. Now, <clears throat> what this uh, fight or flight this, uh, sympathetic nervous system actually does to us, it simply prepares the body for the fight or flight, so for the, for the stress situation. So how, it, how, how the nervous system does that? First of all, <clears throat> it speeds up the uh, heartbeats. So the heart starts pumping faster in order to deliver more blood to the muscles. Uh, directs the blood flow from the digestive system into the skeletal muscles there because you're, you're now ready to explode, to, to be physically active, right? You're under stress now. So you don't need your blood to sit down and digest food, okay? Uh, this is almost answering the question, should you eat before workout? So it directs blood from your uh, uh, stomach area into your limbs, into the skeletal muscles. <clears throat> Third, uh, it dilates uh, your uh, the, the uh, bronchi bronchiolus, bronchioles into your, in, in your lungs. So you can absorb more oxygen and obviously supply more oxygen through the now increased blood flow in the, in the, in the body to the uh, muscle cells for energy. Now, uh, a sympathetic uh, nervous system also shuts down your digestive ability. Now, your liver has much more important function to do but to produce enzymes. So the liver is now forced to, to release more glucose into the blood, which can uh, instantly be used as as energy so liver actually turns glycogen liver glycogen into the glucose rapidly so this this is what uh, a sympathetic nervous system does also increases the production of uh, uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine hormones or known as adrenaline and noradrenaline and these hormones are actually uh, responsible to to get you going so this this state of the body this uh, state of fight or flight is not compatible with digestion. Now, before the workout, when you actually should explode or, or get yourself into that 
high adrenaline, high blood flow, high oxygen uh, uh, supply to the muscles, the blood into your limbs rather than your digestive system. This uh, state which you need to, you, you will initiate and you need to provoke in your training session is not compatible with digestion. So why would you eat just before uh, your workout? Is absolute nonsense. You, first of all, the energy that you will use is going to be uh, energy that you have stored in the glycogen stores probably previous night or yesterday. No, you can't store that energy in an instant. So you can't even use it in an instant. So that's out of question. No, you should not eat before your workout. Okay. So is there anything else that, that we should take during the workout? Yes, maybe there is. Anything that is not involved, that, that doesn't require digestion. So what it is, as if you remember <clears throat> if in one of my previous videos, I was talking about supplement that I found to be the, the, the best supplement ever, ever invented. And this is BCAAs. So if you take BCAAs, maybe some glutamine as well, and uh, you sip that during the workout, you will not, you don't need, they, they don't need to be digested because they're already broken down. So brain chain amino acids, they are not proteins, so they, they don't need digestion and they will be just going into the muscles wherever they are required, depending on which muscle group you are, you're exercising. So that is uh, applicable and this is something that I even advise people to do so that's the best thing to do but you do not eat before your uh, workout immediately before the workout now the other one parasympathetic nervous system is completely opposite so this is the nervous system that will prepare your body to rest and digest this is when you should eat and why is that because that system does everything opposite actually while the uh, the sympathetic nervous system forces the body to produce uh, adrenaline and suppresses insulin. This uh, parasympathetic nervous system produces, uh, forces the body to, to produce more insulin, which means your body is ready for digestion. Your heartbeats are coming down. Your liver is now not going to be producing glucose, but will rather be relaxed and more focused to produce enzymes, the same as pancreas. So basically, li uh, liver and pancreas, the main Two organs when it comes to production of enzymes are now completely relaxed and ready to produce enzyme hence to digest your food and this is the time when you should eat but bear in mind these two systems they're not compatible and they should not be you should not mix action uh, time which is actually for a parasympathetic part of activity of daily activity of your uh, that nervous system with with eating eating should come after when you are calm when you finish your workout you should not eat straight away you should calm down you should relax and then eat uh, basically this is very important not necessarily only for muscular development and fat loss but for overall health uh, there, is, there are a lot of research is done on these issues and uh, um, it, it has been found when people eat under the stress they actually uh, cause loads of problems especially cardiovascular problems so eating should be at the time when you are fully relaxed, when you are into that parasympathetic uh, mode and uh, ready to digest. So I hope by explaining this simple physiology of those two autonomic uh, nervous systems, uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic, you, you now have a clearer picture about digestion and time for action. So when you're ready for action, when your adrenaline uh, shoots up, when your insulin goes down, when your body stops producing enzymes for digestion, when your body moves the blood from the digestive system into your skeletal muscles, obviously you should not eat. And with that, I hope I answered the question that I get on a daily basis, should I eat before, immediately before a workout? So um, I hope uh, you like this video. If you did please do subscribe and uh, yeah there will be more videos coming your way